Hi guys, time for another rubber band powered car. And the reason for this one is in the comments, Goku Sun said that his project he's got to do a rubber band powered car that will do three meters. You can use CDs, rubber bands, etc. But he's got to use a cereal box for the chassis. Now, I haven't done one with a cereal box. I checked back through all my videos and there's not one there. Uh, that's probably because my cereals don't come in boxes normally, they come in plastic bags. So I've had to go out and buy a box of cereal. So I shall empty this and I'll use this as the chassis. And then I'll use CDs as normal for the wheels, some bottle tops for the hubs, got some drinking straws there, uh, barbecue skewers, there we go, or kebab skewers as they call them here. Right, first thing will be to open this carefully because we don't want to damage the box any more than we have to. be my breakfast for the next few days because I don't like to waste anything. And now I shall glue this back down so it's as strong as it can be. At the front of the car I've got my two bits of drinking straw for my barbecue skewer axle to go through. And I put a short bit of barbecue skewer on the top here because that's where I'm going to attach the rubber band. I'm going to cut a small hole for the rubber band to go through there. It will go through the middle of the box and come out at the back through this big slot. So that it can wrap round the back axle. Now to put the bottle tops on the CDs. I'm using a new glue gun. I don't like it a lot actually, it's a bit too big. There's no significant reason for me using different types of bottle tops. It's just what I've got hold of. Okay, there we go. I'll drill the holes through them next. All up together. I've just put a little bit of a bent paper clip around the back axle there. So that there's something for the rubber band to hook onto. And the rubber band has got to connect to the front here. Just loop it through itself. And then that all goes in there, through that hole. That hole could be bigger, I've just made it that small. Let it drop through. You might need something to hook it out with. Or just make the holes bigger. and we're good to go. Test run time. I've put some rubber tyres on the wheels. Those are just strips cut from washing up gloves. If you have a look at the video description you'll see I've got a link to a help file on how to do that. I've made that hole a little bit bigger on the top so it's easier to drop the rubber band inside. I've made the hole on the bottom bigger so it's easier to get hold of the rubber band. There we are. 
So, we can wind it up, just hook it on the back axle. should be enough. My kitchen is five meters long. We're only required to do three meters. So let's see how we go. Well, that looks like it was quite happy. Quick summary. What have we got? Cereal box. Four CDs for the wheels, eight plastic bottle tops for the hubs to connect the CDs to the axles. The axles are barbecue skewers or kebab skewers, drinking straws for the axle tubes, and in the middle of this, the back axle, we've got a bit of bent paper clip hot glued in place to hook the rubber band on. And that's it. The task was to go three meters. Well, we've just done five meters. And the inspiration was Goku Sun, who said that he had to do his rubber band powered car with a cereal box. So there we go. Hope that might help.